you want to respond, Mr. Chidambaram? Yes. He was shaking your head. But please throw a number. This is only about data. Yeah, here is a number. 1.4 crore fewer Indians employed in October 22 than in January 20. Second, Raghuram Rajan, Rohit Lamba, Rahul Chauhan jointly wrote an article, India's humming economy isn't yet helping much of its low-income citizens who need the education deficit bridged and policies that promote job creation. Again, Mr. Mishra talks about only half of India. The other half is what I'm concerned about. He's talking the language that we first made popular in India after 1991. So I'm not denying all that he says, but that makes sense only to the top half of India. Not even the top half, but I'm willing to in, uh, divide India into the bottom half and the top half. If child um, stunting and wasting is between 20 and 30 percent, mm -hmm. if 49 percent of all women are anemic, what does that mean? It means that people do not have enough food. The only reason for child stunting and child wasting and anemic women is because they don't take enough nutritious food. Now, you look at the sh spanking new bridge of flyover, and you say, what a remarkable achievement. That is what he's doing. But what about the people who are huddled under the bridge and live there day and night? That is the bottom half. And we and this government is completely callous and neglects the bottom half. I want Mr. Mishra to travel with me. I can take him to a relatively developed state like Tamil Nadu and take him into the interior. And in village after village, you will see that the poor constitute about 15 to 20 to 25 percent of the people. The government will respond, uh, 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 Mr. Chidambaram, to what you've just said by saying, look, during COVID, we provided 80 crore for, uh, Indians food free of cost, ration subsidies. We provided under the uh, Pradhan Mantri uh, Kisan Samman Yojana quarterly 2,000 rupees to, uh, to, the, to farming communities. We have done whatever we had to in terms of welfare schemes during the COVID pandemic to offset the difficulties faced by those whom you keep saying are at the bottom of the pyramid. Yes, but not enough. That's the point. Every government has to do something. They did, but not enough. My point is, emphasize the not enough, as a result of which there was massive unemployment massive hunger. Why are we 101 on the hunger index? You can always rubbish that. Why are we 101 on the hunger index out of 120 countries? Nilkan? So uh, I, I must say that uh, my ancestral village is in uh, Champaran, in East Champaran in Bihar. Uh, it is, on some measures, the third poorest district of Bihar. So I have seen poverty. I have. I have seen how things have changed, uh, and I have, se I have seen how things are changing now. Uh, in the last three years, uh, the, every house in the village has electricity. Uh, when we did up for the first time fans in our rural house, I was surprised that there was an electrician in the village. Uh, there is. Are you saying all of this happened post 2014? Mm -hmm. Are you saying electrification came post 2014? Seriously, Nilkan Mishra? Actually, India became independent in 2014. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying that. No, no. See, my okay. I am a. I am an economist. I look at data. Sure. And, uh, when it happened, what happened? I. I. I am perhaps less uh, qualified to say. What I can say is that uh, when I now travel to my village, there is a lot less of poverty that I see, uh, and I can see piped water. I can see people in pakka houses. It's very hard to see mud huts and and thatch roofs. Uh, I can see people commuting to nearby cities. So I think the, the change, if we think about it, has to be more in terms of providing infrastructure, providing uh, uh, access to internet, providing uh, access to opportunities. And look, uh, if you divide growth into three parts, and I'll take, take one minute on this. Uh, 
you can you can grow output by adding labor you can grow output by adding capital or you can grow output by improving productivity now in labor input i don't think there is much more that we can do what we need to do if we have to really grow gdp and grow output and really match what china did china grew so much faster than us from 1980 to uh, maybe uh, well till till very recently uh, it was because it attracted mass and created massive amounts of capital and that is the only way to pull hundreds or tens of millions of people out of poverty and i think uh, driving productivity growth requires that uh, individuals have have there are rural roads connecting to uh, you know every village people uh, have access to uh, cheap data uh, so that they can access jobs there is less friction in the job market i think all of those changing things are changing yeah.